Hello. Today I thought I would do the last but not least Sanderson sister. Today I'm going to do Winifred. I'm going to start with the makeup, then I will do her hair, and then the costume will be last. Um, I also made like a decorative scene as well. I will have everything that I use listed in the description box. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start off with eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna start with the Milani eyeshadow primer in 01 Nude. Okay, so I primed my eyes off camera. I have shown you how I do that. So I'm just gonna wait for that to set a little bit. I'm also going to prime my face using the e.l.f. Good Vibes Only Soft Velvet Primer. Okay, so I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Nude 42 Color Palette. I'm going to start with All or Nothing. ColourPop E22 Brush. Like so. Now I'm going to dip into Bare Necessity. I'm just going to use the same brush with that shade. Just going into the inner crease to mid crease area. Now I'm going to put, use the shade Toast. ColourPop E23 brush. I'm going to put that mid to inner. Okay, I like that. I'm going to dip into Tempting, just on the outer portion right here. Okay. So I'm going to use a ColourPop E27 brush and I'm going to take, take a hike. I'm just going to put that on this outer corner just to add depth. Like so. I'm gonna blend and I will be back. Okay, so I finished blending. Um, I'm gonna start with drama. I'm just gonna put that right here. I'm gonna go in with Tiger Eye. Like 
like so. Next, I'm going to use Lucky Penny. Last, I'm going in with First Prize. Okay. I'm not really sure if she's wearing brown shades or what shades. Uh, I just decided that's what I think I seen. It's basically recreating a character. So I figure we should have fun doing that. And it's whatever your version of that is. You don't have to use warm neutrals. You could use anything that you really wanted. I'm just going to go in and kind of blend between these two with the shade Tiger Eye because it feels a little stark between them. Okay, I'm just gonna take take a hike right here. Okay, I like that better. All right. I'm not sure. I want to add a little more drama to it. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Glitter Single in Toasty. And I'm going to put that over. Just to kind of get more drama going here. Okay. I am going to do the other eye and I will be back. Okay. I have finished both eyes. I'm just going to apply my face makeup and I will be back. Okay. So I will go over quickly what I used. I used the e.l.f. camo color corrector in peach under my eyes. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 Fair under the eyes and for a few of the blemishes because this Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer, although lovely, um, just doesn't cover very much. So I find it just kind of blended away. I do like it as almost like a highlighter, like to contour your face in a way. I like it for that though. Um, and I do like the formula itself under the eyes. It just makes my eyes water. So I, I can't really use it for that. Uh, this is the shade Fair to Light. For foundation, I used the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 uh, Foundation and Concealer in 00 Light Natural. I kind of use this to kind of tone it a little because it is a little dark for me now that it is fall. To set everything, I used the Peanuts X Wet n Wild Snow Much Fun translucent loose setting powder and that pretty much brings us to where I am at with the makeup. Now I'm going to do 
my brows and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette in Auburn because while my hair is, I would call it reddy orange, kind of, I guess like a copper would be accurate. And um, Winifred is has that same color. So I'm going to go into this with um, a spoolie brush. Just going to put the wax through the brows. I'm going to go in with the darker brown wax. Just here. I don't really see a difference, but we'll see. All right. Now I'm going to take the shadows that are included. I'm just going to put a touch of the darker one just at the front here. Now I'm going to go into the lighter one, more red toned one, I would say. Red toned brown. Kind of just mixing the two. Okay, I'm just going to brush that through so that it's not so much. And that's basically the brow. I'm just going to do this side and I will be back. Alright, I'm going to apply the Essence Stay and Play Gel Eyeliner in 03 Silky Nude. I noticed the picture of the, the video it look, of, of Hocus Pocus. It looks like she's very awake, so I kind of thought um, a nude liner would kind of help that. Instead of a darker shade, it would look cool with the eye look, but it wouldn't fit in, I feel. Okay. Now, hmm. I'm just going to grab the eyeshadow palette and I'll be back. Okay, so I grabbed the uh, Beauty Bay 42 Pan Palette. I'm just going to take Grizzly beneath the eye on an ColourPop E30 brush.
just to kind of connect this here ever so slightly. I'm also just going to take Bare Necessities, just going to take this shade here and just kind of blend right before that shade and beneath to make sure there's no harsh lines and just kind of to like have a little definition but not too much. Okay, I think that is good. I'm going to apply the e.l.f. Lash Beats Defining and Lengthening Mascara, and I will be back. Okay, mascara is applied. Now I'm going to use the Catrice Cosmetics Lumi Nice Highlight and Bronze Glow Palette. Use this shade, which is the bronzing highlighter as my bronzer today on a ColourPop F29 brush. Just to add a little color and glow. I think that's good. Now I'm going to take the same palette and I'm going to use the soft highlighter shade at the top there as my highlighter. I feel like she looks like she has a soft glow. It could be camera lighting, etc., but I thought it was beautiful and wanted to just recreate that feel from the movie and from the picture I saw. It's kind of where the inspiration came from for the look. Next to, I'm not sure if browns were used, and I can't really tell from the picture, but I figure let's make it our own version. All right, now we need to do the blush. So I chose a bright reddish color um i'm gonna use the essence pure nude baked blush in 04 bold heart we're going to just concentrate this on the cheek here similar to the way it is on from the movie
like so. Basically right on the apple of the cheek. And we're just not gonna be blending it out. Okay, I think that's good. Now for the lips. All right, so I'm going to line my lips with the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in 04 So Love Sick. I guess like that, I'm not, I'm not, not sure. Okay. I'm going to apply the ColourPop Disney Star Wars Cream Luxe Lipstick in Surrender. Not sure if that's exactly how her lip looks like. Hmm. It doesn't look right to me, in my opinion. Hmm. I don't know about that. I will be back. All right wasn't happy with that color so I went and grabbed the sugar matte as hell crayon lipstick in 35 Claire Redfield just gonna reline and apply Just going to tidy things up with um, a lip liner and a matte. All right. That is the lip as best as I think I'm going to get it. Um, now I'm going to do the hair. I kind of ended up having a good hair tone 
that I've been obsessed with and dyeing my hair the color of. So I'm going to show you that. Okay. Let's do the hair. So I have grabbed two large elastics. I'm going to make two pigtails. Like so. Okay. Too tight. Not enough. All right, now I'm not sure if this is exactly how they did her hair. I'm just guessing. like that. Now I'm going to take um, a donut form type thing. Like that. And another one over here. Now I'm going to fluff my hair around it to form a bun of sorts. I'm hoping that'll add more volume to the bun itself because my hair can be kind of... Oh no, I just need another elastic. Okay, so I grabbed another elastic and I'm just sliding that over. I'm going to fluff up the hair to add more volume to it so that it's more fluffy. Like so. And now I'm just gonna, wow, that was a lot of hair. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just gonna take some bobby pins and pin my hair around that strategically, kinda. So that it's kind of fluffy, but an, an imperfect, but kind of concentrated and forms a slight ball shape. That one didn't want to be a part of this. Okay. Okay. Okay, 
kind of like that I think I'm gonna do this side same idea spread my hair around the donut shape trying to detangle some of it but not that successfully like that do the same thing Just tweak and gather up hair to, to give it more volume basically I'm gonna run out of bobby pins but it's okay okay so I'm just grabbing bobby pins doing the same thing pinning the hair the way I would like it to be Am I really gaze? I feel like I don't. It's just the way it is. Okay. You just doing whatever they would like to do. Okay. And that is the hair finished. Okay, so I am going to now get my costume on and I will show you that but this is the hair and the makeup finished this is my version of Winifred Sanderson all right I will be back the black witch earrings and green velvet hooded Cape are from Spirit Halloween. The purple and black printed velvet dress is from Pennington's. The black tights are from Walmart. The black booties are from Old Navy Canada. All of the hair accessories I used are from Dollarama. The broom and the black flame candle are from Spirit Halloween. The owls spiders spider webs and webbing the red tablecloth the r.i.p tombstone the black cat and the spider flowers are all from dollarama the vase is just a recycled jar and that is everything that i've used for the look i really hope you enjoyed this recreation of Winifred Sanderson and the other Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Which is your favorite witch from the Hocus Pocus movie? Or what is your favorite character from any Halloween movie? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you would like to.
Have a safe and happy Halloween. Okay, bye.